Hi. Oh my God. It's been so long since I've made a video. I've been doing my DMA in classical saxophone. Yeah, it's been a bit of a rude awakening. The level of classical saxophone evolves so fast, but that's okay. <coughs> We're working on it. Well, anyway, as you just heard, I'm a bit sick. Also, do you hear my voice? <laughs> Crisp. Why? Well, I got a new mic setup. Anyway, today I want to talk about a guy named Dave Pollock. Back when I had less than 2,000 subscribers, I discovered a saxophone player named Dave Pollock. I first found him through his How to Play Smooth Jazz series, and I just thought this was the funniest series ever. Actually, let's watch one. Ah, there it is. This is the very first Dave Pollock video I've seen. Hi everyone, my name is Dave Pollock, and welcome to my new video series, How to Play Smooth Jazz Saxophone. So first of all, and really pay attention, get rid of this. <laughs> Bro, I remember first seeing that, I was like, oh, what? <laughs> that is where it all started, it's episode two. That freaking intro. It's like it's a uh, full house featuring Bob Saget. Here's our first listening example. <laughs> He's not the way he just rolled his eyes, he looks so pretentious. Using any vibrato or any grace notes, but if you do add those things, I think here's what it would sound like. <laughs> The freaking vibrato and the grease notes, man. He has very many episodes. After seeing this, I've explored his channel and it led me to this video. Grammy Band Audition 2018. Now, if you don't know what a Grammy Band Audition is, it's basically the hardest jazz competition in America for high school jazz musicians. And you gotta send in a videotape of your audition and each one follows a certain format that the audition requirements ask you to do. For example, in, in 2017 by Austin Zhang. Hi, my name is Austin Zhang. I'm a senior at Plano West Senior High school in Plano, Texas, and my application number is 277451656. Thank you. Oh my god. Killing player. I mean, it's absolutely insane he had this sound as a high schooler, you know. This was my sound when I was in high school. Amazing. You know, hundreds of saxophone players are auditioning for this. Anyway, here's Dave Pollock, the troll. He comes and makes his own. Mom, just make sure you're filming from here up, okay? I don't want everybody to see that I'm wearing short. Okay, hi, my name is Dave Pollock. My email address is Jazz is Alive, or at least I hope it is, because that's all I'm prepared to do. At gmail.com. Lots of passive aggression. My application number is 251 251 If you don't understand that, 251 is the most typical chord progression in all of jazz. A one, a three, a one, two. <laughs> so if you don't understand, in jazz, you usually want to count off like this one, two, one, two, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So he was like, a one, a three, a one. <laughs> so if you ever did that in a real jazz setting, you'll probably get laughed off the stage or they won't even play the tune. They'll be like, what are you doing? Total troll. A substitution. So it sounds good for a while and then he starts to troll here. <laughs> if you don't understand that, there's a very cliche Charlie Parker line. As people start to transcribe solos for the first time, especially in uh, middle school, they usually read out of something called the Charlie Parker Omni Book. And this is one of the first licks that a lot of 
middle school, high school jazz musicians learn. It's a pretty tricky lick, and when you first hear it, it's, it's pretty cool. But um, it became a meme of itself, because it's so cliche. And from this quote, it says, come on, this is an audition. Where are all the high notes in the licks? Usually in younger jazz auditions, there's this instinct to just be as flashy as possible. Play screeching altissimo and play a bunch of like licks that you're not improvising. You just kind of copy and paste them. You have a few in your back pocket that you've transcribed and you've played a million times. And I think everyone has gone through this at some point. I certainly have. Here's this video that makes me sad every time I hear it. Not the scoops. Scoop Johnson. Okay, okay, here it comes. Thanks, Mom. Love you, Mom. I'm being really mean to my childhood self. Stop being a bully. Uh, anyway, this video is hilarious. I've watched it several times. As I kept exploring this channel, I started to realize, holy crap, this guy's really good. Like, really good. Hold on, I want to transcribe that right now. Um, what was that? Okay, spontaneous transcribe sesh. So something I'm learning at this school is that there's a million, thousand, trillion altissimo options. So now I'm just curious all the time, what are people using? So it looks like he's using the power G. One, three, four, side B flat. The modern term for side B flat is TA, meaning trill A. And then based on his fingerings here, he goes back to the side E there. He just spit that out. Oh, yeah, let me write that down for you guys. Sibelius Ultimate. No, 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 we need the right font. We need the jazz font. Are you kidding me? Ah, much better. Da 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 one. Alrighty, and there is our entire line. I did not love that glissando playback, but that'll have to work. All right, I'm gonna save that in my shed stuff folder. Well, anyways, about three years ago, I reached out to Mr. Pollock here and I asked him to play in my song that I made on my little garage band phone app. I'll never forget seeing this for the first time. The thing is, Nathan from the YouTube channel Saxologic Really cool channel, really cool guy. Go check him out. Thanks. And uh, he would like if I would solo over it, and I said, sure. So he solos over it. So good, so good. And he does this crazy flurry. sounds so good. It sounds like a tornado. It's like he's a wizard. He's just like, ah, tornado bolt. Well, anyway, he came to visit me in Miami. It was the best lesson of my life. And I was just like, bro, 
why don't you make tutorials? You can make the best tutorials on YouTube. Most of us out here are just winging it. Well, he finally did it. Dave Pollock has made a course pack and holy moly, this is the best online course slash lesson slash everything improvising in jazz that I have ever come across online. Look man, people are going to college paying 40 grand a year for less than half of this information with no ums, buts, or weird edits like me where I just mess up talking a lot, oops. It's pure professional fluency of speaking, great sound, great recording setup. It's so easy to understand. I wish I had this when I was in high school. I wish I had this when I was an undergrad. Now here's the thing. He's only selling this course pack starting this Monday from 8 a.m. EST to this Friday. You get five days to buy this. Then the best course pack probably online is just gone. If you wanna buy this course pack, I've included an affiliate link in the description below. Dave. I love your playing, I love your teaching. You've been and still are such a huge inspiration. Alrighty, I don't know if you noticed, but I started using the Boston Sack Shop neck strap. And the reason why, the harness I've been using, I love this. This, this has been great, but this, it'd be scratching my saxophone. If I'm not touching on my hands, it's like <laughs> And I just got a Yamaha Custom X too. And I don't want this to be scratching. I want it to look as new as possible for as long as possible. And that's actually what my next video is about. I'm almost done editing that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for 173,000 subscribers. Oh. Have a good day.